Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. This is Abby with the Fairport Public Library and I've got another craft for you. This week I'm going to be using the everyday household item of clothespins to make a fun beachy craft to add to your home. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need for today's craft. You need a hot glue gun, some clothespins. I have big ones and little ones. I got these at the dollar store. And then the optional part is if you want to dye your clothespins, you're going to need some food coloring a jar, some hot water, and some white vinegar. And we're gonna put all those together to make these clothespin starfish. So let me show you how. So the first step of this is taking the clothespins apart. And it's actually pretty easy. You can see that the metal part doesn't go all the way around. So what I did is I just pulled it out from under there, and then I just pulled this part out from here. So you've got the metal part left over, and you've got two separate pieces. I'll show you that again. Boop. And boop. And then I can show you on the little ones as well. And there you go. So now they're separated. Now at this point, this is when you would start to dye your clothespins. Now I did it previously because they need to sit in the water for at least 12 hours and then you need to dry them. So I have already done this and I'll show you what they look like. So here are my dyed clothespins. Now some of them came out better than others. This was using red and blue to make purple. This was the orange color, which I thought came out pretty nice. This was the blue, which, you know, looks a little more black than blue. It wasn't the best. And then this is the green. So I probably should have left the green in there a little bit longer, but I actually don't mind this like almost yellowy green. It looks more natural. So that's what they look like when they're dyed. I will put a picture of the things you need to do to dye them. It's very easy. You just put your jar two thirds of the half, two thirds of the way with hot boiling water. Then I put in the amount of drops um, suggested at the top of the box for the different colors that I wanted. And then I put in a tablespoon of white vinegar and that was it. I put all my clothespins in there and I just let them sit. And this is what I got. So now we're gonna start assembling our starfish. So it's a fairly easy process. We're gonna take our broken apart clothespins and we're going to reattach them. Um, so instead of them being like this, like they used to be, I'm gonna flip them around like this. So then we're gonna hot glue that together. So that's step number one. I'm gonna take a little hot glue, put it on both sides and squeeze them together. Pretty easy peasy. So I'm gonna do that for all of the extra clothespins that I have. I've got all of my two pieces together as one unit. Now I'm gonna form them into the starfish shape. So I'm gonna take my units and I'm gonna put glue on either side. Now, these are not gonna be symmetrical, so I'm just kinda gonna play along with it as I go, leaving spaces in certain places. Oh, that one came apart, so I'll redo that one in a second. Just trying to space them as best as I can so that they all fit together. Now, of course, this is gonna give me a pain because this one came apart, but I will fix that adding more glue in and holding it together. Now, if you decide to dye your clothespins like I did, make sure you let them dry enough time. They're gonna need about 24 hours. I did not give them 24 hours, which is why I'm having a little problem with them sticking because they are still a tiny bit wet. So you're gonna just wanna make sure yours are totally dry. There we go. Together so that the glue sticks. Then once that's dry, I'm gonna come back in and pull all those strings off of there. So here's my finished product. I took all of my clothespin starfish and I hot glued them on to this wooden board that I thought looked like sand. So now you can take it as is like this and hang it on the wall for a piece of art, or you can, you know, jizz it up a little bit more, add some shells, whatever you like to your style, or you can even 
take it, and I might turn it this way to show you this part, and take some regular clothespins and glue them on there to use this as like scarf storage. So you could put that on the wall in your bedroom and have your scarves hanging on these just for easy access. But either way, uh, experiment with the different sizes. I used a couple of the little clothespins to make some smaller, more character-based starfish that are not quite perfect stars. Um, but feel free to experiment and see if you can use these techniques for other holidays and other crafts. And there you go, you made it. So now you have a little starfish that you can add to your lovely decor in your home. We learned a couple techniques, different types of dyeing for clothespins and how to put them together in different ways. You can use this for Christmas time or making trivets. You can do pretty much anything with this technique. So I hope you use it and I hope you show me what you make. Now, summer reading for the adults started on Monday the 29th. So if you'd like to join and participate and get credit for all of the books that you read, please join us by going to fairportlibrary.beanstack.org or you can download the free Beanstack app and sign up. Now you can get credit for watching these craft videos so you'd be entered into the drawing just for doing what you're already doing right now. So I hope you join us and I will see you at the library.